today I'm gonna share with you a first impression that's why my half naked face actually I'm gonna be try I'm gonna try to do two first impressions one on the foundation and one on this product that I found from Revlon I was browsing through my CVS and I found a new display for L'Oreal and also for Revlon and both were for mascaras this one is the Revlon bold lacquer by grow lashes I don't know I'm always looking for the perfect mascara drugstore mascara I feel like I tend to like more high-end mascaras and I don't like that so uh, I'm trying to find the perfect one for me and I decided that this sounded really really good it's supposed to be a length and volume mascara and I've heard that the original version of the grow luscious thingy from Revlon it was really good or one of my friends here in YouTube she really liked it and I never tried that one so I decided that I'm gonna try the new one and let you know how good this is so if you're interested in knowing about this product and then just keep watching this video thanks well, let's read the back and it says length length and volume mascara it says a formula slacker film technology and intense color pigments deliver a lustrous deep color to lashes the lash stretch brush pulls the formula high shine lengthening fibers from root to tip and beyond giving your lashes that look gorgeously long and full so basically what it really uh, caught my eye when i saw this um mascara is that it says that it had a lot that it will give you a lot of volume having said that if you read the back it's supposed to have some kind of fibers that are going to elongate or make your lashes look longer and it's supposed to be dramatically longer so let's go ahead and try it and see how this one's work so i'm going to curl my lashes with this tart eyelash curler and um I'm not going to apply any black eyeliner on my waterline or um, my lash line because I don't, my top lash line, because I want to see the full effect of this mascara. So um, I burned these lashes like completely once and I'm trying to grow them back and they actually are growing in like as far as how many they are but they are not as long as I want to so I'm gonna demonstrate it on this right eye which are my regular lashes my lashes are very small I don't have that much or that many lashes on top of that they're very short so if you have anything like my lashes stay tuned and we'll see how we like this so I just open it it's a regular uh, brush mascara brush it's not like the plastics or hotter kind of um, bristles or brushes that they use in the other kind like the clamp crusher or stuff like that it did come a little bit too much on the tip but I just clean it off like this so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying I feel like it's a drier formula that's just one coat Um, I do see the fibers, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I do see the fibers clinging to the brush, but I don't notice anything amazing just yet. The only thing that I do feel is like it has a good brush that I can really like go to the roots of my lashes. I don't know if you can see, but it like pull them up, brushing them very evenly. So I like the brush. I'm gonna go back in and try another coat. So for a second coat, at first I thought that it might be just the first coat, you know, that it was not, I don't know, wet enough or it didn't have enough product on the wand. But yeah, it's a drier formula. And I feel like it dries very quickly. I do feel like it kind of, uh, huh. I don't know if it's because it's the second coat or what it is but I feel like now it's starting to give a little bit more volume and now I start to feel like I can see that it's uh, making my lashes look longer or it's making my lashes longer so that's the second coat I'm gonna try to put a picture with the first coat and now showing you the second coat to see how much of a difference it made um, I feel like it does give you more volume on the second coat 
but you have to be really careful because it, I don't know it could become a little clumpy so as you can see it's really making my lashes very long and I don't know about very voluminous I still feel like it looks natural but that's something that doesn't bother me I don't like to have a very clumpy lashes or in order to have them look bigger or longer so I kind of like it so I'm gonna go ahead and do a third coat and then we'll see if we can really make it to three coats or if this is like a one or two uh, coat kind of mascara so now I'm really close to my mirror because I'm doing it on the on the part that it has the 10 times or I don't even know how many so I can see my eye bigger and I can really see what I'm doing with the mascara because I don't want any clumps and I believe that, that this is the only way that you can actually see if your lashes are clumping and you know how to brush them or what's the direction that they're gonna go when they once they dry so there we go now I'm gonna do my bottom lashes and we'll see how it works for that. So and now this is the third coat, the eye with the third coat and the bottom lashes. I didn't want to do crazy crazy bottom lashes because I'm gonna be running errands. It's raining i don't know if you could hear the rain if i can hear the rain while i edit this video i will put it so you can hear it's raining like crazy so uh and this is not waterproof so i don't want to be you know with my lower lash line running or anything like that so i did apply a little bit as you can see it looks very kind of uh i don't know defined but still natural and now I'm going to do my other eye and I'll come with my first thoughts on this mascara. I did apply it to both and as you can see, uh, to me, it looks pretty darn amazing. It's very, it, I don't know, these lashes, they don't look like they're the same. This ones look very, very long, even as long as this ones. So that is a huge accomplishment for me. I like the volume, I like the length, and I think that it's still very... On the natural but dramatic side it's not like clumpy voluminous uh, spidery kind of mascara if that's the look that you go for this might not be it but I feel like it's still dramatic it's st still black and it really actually even did my tight line with the mascara I mean it's really dark so I feel like it's really enhances and it makes my eyes look so much bigger I don't really get it, but I love it so far. I really, really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep using it, of course. <laughs> it's uh, noon. So I'm going to go run some errands. It's raining. It's wet. It's disgusting weather. But we're going to test it to the worst conditions possible. Let's hope that it can really hold my curl and look as amazing as it looks right now. Uh, well, girls, it's... Um, what time is it? I don't even know. 527 and I just came back and my lashes look the same <laughs> I don't know if you can see it but they look pretty much the same as when I left they are still uh, curled they are still voluminous I don't see any flakiness in this area I didn't notice during the day anyways it was a rainy day so I thought this bottom mascara thing was gonna kind of melt but it didn't it worked and this is not my favorite kind of consistency for a mascara because I believe it's kind of dry but I think the dryness or that I don't like on usually mascaras actually works for the fibers to really stick to the tip of my lashes and extend them so they look longer I think it's one of those mascaras that you can really build so it's not the ones that you know after the second or third coat they start to clump so bad that you can't do it anymore and sometimes you even have to remove your mascara this is not like that I believe that you can actually just build it as much as you want and it doesn't look clumpy it doesn't look spidery I think it's a very good mascara it is very black and it stays on pretty much all day I didn't apply any primer underneath this mascara and 
in my opinion it's a very good product so so this mascara was $7.99 and if you ask me should I buy it should I try it I would say most definitely try it because I think it will work for pretty much anybody even if you have long lashes this will look amazing I think and if you have shorter lashes it will make them look a lot bigger I mean I just I don't know if you can tell but it really look very very long and it, I can't achieve this look with any other of my drugstore mascaras even though I have some that I like I don't think that I can get this much volume and length at the same time with just one mascara so I'm gonna keep using it during this month I'm gonna apply it with primer no primer I'm gonna layer with other mascaras and I will let you know by the end of the month if I ended up loving it as much as I love it today so thank you for watching this video until the end remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed like this video if you liked it and I will see you in my next video Mwah.